Hello everybody, Good Review Surplus here, and today I want to show you another very special part of my collection. This is a World War I British small box respirator that was used by a U.S. troop during the duration of World War I. The mask is in rough shape, being completely mummified, although the hose is still in pretty good shape with it being flexible. I'll show that later on in the video, but this mask also came with paperwork, which makes it even more special than it already was being used by a U.S. troop during World War I. The British SBR or small box respirator would usually have been used by a British troop during World War I, although some of them were given to U.S. soldiers when the U.S. did join in World War I. This mask would have been used by the British after they had stopped using the PH hood and the large box respirator, which I'll show a picture of both of those right now. So as I said before, most of these masks, when you find them, are completely hard and brittle, or basically mummified at this point due to the age of them being over 100 years old. So you can usually tell that these were used by U.S. soldiers when they have the Type C East filter on them instead of your typical small box filter on them. Some of these have green filters, some of them have yellow, like this one right here. Although, usually if it's a green or yellow filter on one of these small box respirators, when you find it, it was usually used by a U.S. soldier. Although they could have been changed out sometime during World War I. Luckily, I have paperwork to prove this one's authenticity, which I will show later on in the video, but now let's look at the gas mask bag itself. So the Type CE and the small box respirators bag are roughly the same, although there are some minor differences. Instead of D-rings, you actually have these little square ones down here that holds this string on. These are actually snap buttons instead of your typical U.S. push button that you would see on the U.S. Uh, gas mask bag. The strap system is also a little different with it having uh, this clamp right here and this leather piece to adjust it instead of the sort of clip mechanism that the U.S. one has. But now I say we take a closer look at the mask and some of the features that make the small box respirator different from the Type CE respirator. So a few differences about the mask, one of the main ones being uh, the exhale and intake valve right here. Instead of it having a flutter valve guard, it does not. It is just an open flutter valve to allow more mobility when wearing the mask. And it is a just straight out pipe or a tube basically with other with two other tubes, one for the hose and one for the flutter valve. Eye lenses for this mask are actually just celluloid instead of the glass ones that we have on the CE respirator. This mask is completely solidified. As you can see, it doesn't move in any shape or form when I pick it up. Although luckily the hose is still maneuverable so we can get a very good look at some of the up close features of the mask without picking the whole thing up. You can actually see the rubber inliner uh, right there inside the mask, which is just coated on the inside of the canvas exterior. You can also see on this nose piece of the mask that it is a size 3, which was the average size for these masks. The straps are just like the Type CEs with uh, just sort of elastic straps, although these have lost um, their elasticness due to time. Although sometimes they would come with a clothespin to adjust this top strap here in case it was too bad for your head. All you would do is really just fold it and then you clothespin it and then that would be how you tighten the mask. But now let's move on to the paperwork with this mask. So right here we have the photo of the soldier with his family. He is uh, this one right here, as you can see by the arrow. And right here we have his official roster. So that wraps up the video here. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I have other World War One content on my channel. Typical YouTubers, you bullshit, you know, go watch it. If you enjoy this or if you're just stopping by, thanks for watching, you know. Uh, I enjoy every, every view that I get and everybody who uh, comes and checks my page out. But if you enjoyed this, you know, there's other content on my account. I'm sure you know how to get to that if you use YouTube. But I will see you in the next one, and happy collecting.